See? No. We? No. Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's all so crazy. Today we're going to make the Texas sheet cake. So, here we go. So, we're going to start with we have our two cups of flour. We have two cups of sugar, so obviously carbohydrate and diabetic friendly. This is completely keto, completely healthful. So, hey, it's my fairy tale, and we're going to go with it. Uh, a cup of water. We have a, this is supposed to be a half a cup of vegetable oil spread at 70%, but um, I didn't have any 70% spread. I did, but then, of course, we came into this little thing called the derecho, and it all got all rotten then. So this is buttermilk, although I didn't have buttermilk, so I used a half a tablespoon of vinegar in half a cup of milk, and that is now all curdly and yucky. Uh, we have, let's see, half a teaspoon of baking soda. We have a half a teaspoon of, or one teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry. <laughs> one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, I will have a teaspoon of vanilla out here. I use a little bit of butter flavor because this is just plain Crisco. And then the quarter cup of cocoa powder, and I'm using special dark. And finally, two eggs. And this is for me. It is simply Diet 7-Up and unsweetened grape juice. So let's get started. Okay, so this is very exciting. I uh, got my little spatula. I've got my pan and all that good stuff. And... It's exciting because I've got all my ingredients already laid out. I feel just like Martha Stewart. Well, just a moment. Now I feel just like Martha Stewart. Okay, so um, let's get started. So, okay, the first thing we're going to do is as you can see, I am cheating. We are going to combine our uh, sugar and flour in this small bowl, and uh, we're gonna mix that together. So now, the secret is to gently add all ingredients. Okay, and there we go. Now, the beauty of this is this cake is really forgiving. So we got that mixed. Now, we are going to, ouch, we are going to take our one cup of water and our uh, vegetable spread, or Crisco, and the, uh, what else is it, cocoa powder. And we're going to put that on medium heat. Oh, I love my stove. I, I hooked it up myself. Ready? Here we go. Would you look at, would you look at that? Okay. And over medium heat. And all the while, we're going to just kind of whisk this. So uh, we will speed this up so you can see kind of how it goes. And now we're going to let it uh, boil for one minute. It's just starting to simmerize. So, oh! Oh, we're getting the boil. You see, you see, we're getting the boil. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, and I am OCD. I'm going to start the timer for one minute because that's how anal I am. And what this will do is actually make it hot, um, which is what we want. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, leap. Heat off. Now we're ready to mix everything else. Get this nice and incorporated. Now, this is where you don't want to go stir crazy, literally, because you end up with, yeah, 
and pfft, is not what we're looking for. See how that starts to get all nice and glossy, almost like yummy fudge. Mm. Look, I mean, hello. I'll say it again. Hello. Ugh. So we're gonna add the eggs, which we don't want to cook. All right, there we go. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to add this dash of this butter uh, flavor there. And I forgot the vanilla, so I'm grabbing that now. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm here to tell you, I am a big fan of, I guess what they call Mexican chocolate. The secret ingredient, this is actually uh, cassia powder or cassia, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, uh, uh, bark powder, and just, just a little dash, and believe me, good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna mix that. Now I'm gonna add in the baking soda. Sprinkle in and get that mixed because I, again, I'm not a chemist, and some of you, I'm sure many of you know this, but what the baking soda will do is actually provide the leavening in this once the buttermilk hits. So here we go. Boom. And that is going to react fantastically. Okay. So now all we have to do is prepare the pan and pour it in there. It's going to be a Pampered Chef jelly roll pan or bar pan. And we're going to spray it. And I'm gonna heat the oven to 350 and we're gonna pop that baby in there and we're going to do a nice little time lapse. And if I knew how to put it in there, it would probably be the music to the Benny Hill show, uh, Yakety Sax. So think of that when you're watching the time lapse. Okay, here we go. Now, you wanna see, this pan is from 2001, I believe. It has been seasoned a billion times and it has always done me proud. Uh, this is what I make grandma's pumpkin bars in and all sorts. Okay, so here comes our mix. We have uh, sprayed it. Here we go. Oh, let me pour the other. That's terrible. See, this is why I can't have anything nice. Look at that. I mean, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Would you look at that? Let me tell you, ladies and gents, this is the easiest cake in the world. And I mean, you have to work to mess this up. Um, so, Because again, you saw how oh, I for, see, I forgot the salt. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I'm going to just barely sprinkle this salt over the top. Oh, and I was following a recipe even. Oh, well. So now I'm waiting for the oven to heat up to 350. We will pop this little beauty right in there and I will time lapse it so you can see it do its magic. So we'll be right back in two minutes, two seconds. Okay, so we're back. It has baked and did not look delicious. So, you know, Martha Stewart, that was a, st this is not what Martha Stewart. <laughs> this is what she would have worn. So, okay, so now we are going to make the frosting while the cake is cooling. Um, there's not the cake. There's the cake. Mm -hmm. uh, the frosting is so simple. Now it can, it's actually done in the microwave, but, um, okay. So we're going to start Five with tablespoons, or that's a quarter of a cup and one tablespoon of fat free milk. Um, no, I'm using whole milk because I'm a fat pig and I like it like that. 
Um, then we are going to add to that uh, a quarter cup of the unsweetened baking cocoa. Okay. Then we are to that going to add two tablespoons of 70% vegetable spread. No, as Julia Child would say, I like to use butter. So butter. Uh, then we want three cups of powdered sugar. Uh, there's two. Okay, and finally three. Uh, again, you can't really mess this up. If it's too thick, add a little more liquid. If it's too thin, add a little more sugar. And then a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. And then of course the secret ingredient. <laughs> and plickety cack cacao. All right, there we go. Give this a tiny little stir. This says to do it in a microwave for, um, what is it? Microwave on high for 45 seconds. So I'm going to heat this over medium. Then we're going to add some wine and, and bon appetit. <laughs> oh my God. People often ask me, Lonnie, do you ever wonder why you're single? Nope, no surprise to me. <laughs> As I about singed my hair. And look at how glossy and delishful that looks. Um, it's fantabulosity at its finest. So then while this cake is still warm, we're going to pour the warm mixture on so that the frosting kind of... All right, so we'll be back. I don't know if you can see this or not. Can you see around the edges um, when I stop stirring, the, the frosting already starts to get kind of that rippled look where it's you know going to dry and kind of crack. Again, when I take this to an office party or whatever, I come home with an empty uh, bar pan, which is perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Um, it's done. See how nice and drippy that is. And so turn the heat off. Oops, turn the heat off. Here we go. Okay, are we in? Yep. Oh, 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 emergency, emergency. That could have been much more catastrophic than it was. There we go. So this will then cool and look delicious and it will taste even better. And I won't get to try it because I'm on the rotten Atkins diet. All right, so there is your chocolate sheet cake. I'll take a picture of it and post it in the uh, party. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, I said I was gonna edit all this together. The password is liar. Um, you can just fast forward through the crap that you don't want to see. So anyway, um, that's the Texas sheet cake and I hope you give it a try because it is fantastic. Thank you again, everybody for watching this and thank you for participating in my uh, Pampered Chef party. Whether you purchased or not, it wasn't about that. It was about coming together and actually having a party and a get together even during these crazy times. And um, everybody stay safe. Um, whether you, you know, do this or do that or don't do this or don't do that, that that's your choice. But just be good to one another because uh, I know it's cliche, but we are all in this together. Uh, whether we have uh, like ideas or, or opposite ideas, we are still all, first and foremost, human beings. And if we don't take care of this planet and ourselves, who's going to? So stay safe and God bless you all and have a great weekend when it gets here. Thanks again.